Yep. Yep. Another one, y'all. I keep telling y'all every week before do's and don'ts, I'm giving a free giveaway. And I'm doing it again today, man. I'm doing it again today. Five dollar fifteen, sorry. Fifteen dollar gift card to uh I get in contact with you after you win. If you win. 15 free dollars. All you got to do is, is answer this question. How many yards is Zach Ertz going to have? We all know he's been struggling. So it's a whole offense. Answer that question. How many yards is, is Zach Ertz going to have receiving? Not no, we already know he don't really get no yet. And we already know he's not doing no running please. But how many receiving yards is Zach Ertz going to have? Whoever gets the closest or hits it on the head. $15. You're $15 richer. Holla at your boy. Yo, that. Say E A G L E S. Eagles. Say fly, Eagles fly. going on, man. You know who it is. You know what it is. It's your boy, Philly Fresh, a.k.a. The General Hair Report for duty. Right? Also, a.k.a. your fourth for the Battle Bird Podcast, man. And if you have not done it, man, if you did it, I appreciate it. You already know, man. But if you haven't, make sure you hit that sub button right there. Then there's a little bell right next to it. We go over this all the time. That way you notification game, man. You know, you get you get to be one of the first to see when I put up this flavor. Like this flavor I'm about to give y'all right now. The do's and don'ts. Y'all already know how I get down with these, man. Okay, if you don't know, the do's and don'ts against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals is basically me telling y'all what the team needs to do and what it's sure they heck don't need to do, right? So, we're going to get into the do's first, man. But before I do that, shout out to Jersey Boy. He won the Miles Sanders situation. Uh, I think Miles Sanders had 131. I think he was the closest. Can't remember exactly what he had. Um, but shout out to Jersey Boy. He won that $15 gift card. Already got in contact with him, and it's, and it's on its way. It's on its way. You know what I mean? It's probably on a plane right now. So shout out to him. Um, and shout out to y'all because y'all get to... Y'all get to comment below under, under, under this video right now and win yourself 15, 15 extra dollars, man. Who don't need 15 dollars? I know I do. I know I do. But I appreciate y'all, so I'm going to give it to y'all, man. Now, what else I'm going to get to y'all is these dudes, man. These dudes. First dude. We all should know. If you watch any of my videos, you know how I feel. You know how I get down. Run the ball. I'm going to say it again. Run the ball. We seen how productive Miles Sanders was against the the LA Rams, right? I'm not saying that it's like they couldn't stop him, but it kept the it kept the defense honest. We seen that that really negated um dudes like uh, uh, Aaron Donald just to go hunting. You know what I mean? I appreciated them running the ball, and I feel as though you still needs to do that because I think that they've been giving up something crazy, like 160 a clip against teams, 185, something crazy that this defense has been giving up. So you got to make sure that you keep putting your foot on their neck and you run the freaking ball, right? Okay, another do. You got to get you got to get pressure on 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 uh, on Joe Burrow's. Like smart pressure though. You gotta rattle him. You gotta make him see things that he has not really seen before. Jim Swartz, don't keep it manila. Don't keep it, don't keep it to where it's though. Everybody know what's coming. He just gotta you just gotta make sure that your man can stay with can stay with the um with the next man. No. No, you gotta switch this thing up, man. You got you 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 gotta play you gotta play mind games with Joe Burrows. You know what I mean? He's a rookie. He's a one-read kind of quarterback right now, which is understandable because he's a rookie, but you got to take advantage of that, Jim Sports. You have to make sure that, you know, you play some tricks on him. You got to make sure that you put him in predicaments where he think that the safety is blitzing and he's running back to coverage right before the snap. You got you got to make sure that you get pressure on him, but it got to be smart pressure. It got to be smart pressure because this is... You, we already know this is a, a a Me Too league. This is a copycat league. So what they got on tape uh, from last week is us 
being being used and abused by the bootleg play. And they have a quarterback that is athletic and that can get out on the edges. So we're going to get into some, to some don'ts, but do get pressure on them, but get smart pressure. Um, do. If they're not playing physical, if they are not tackling, if they are not giving it they all, or if they just plain old getting getting burnt, or if they just just not doing their job, do pull them. Do pull them. I'm tired of seeing. I'm tired of seeing the, uh, these guys, especially in Jim Swartz defense, that are getting burnt toast. That are just not up for the task. It's it's nothing wrong with saying today's not your day. Come on, come on, come come sit down next to the coach. Come holler at me. Come come uh come talk to some of this pine over here. And put in somebody else. It should be no reason why Kerryon LeBlanc should have not have been playing by halftime over Nikel Roby Coleman. Nikel Roby Coleman was barbecue chicken. They was doing what they want with him. He was being targeted. Kerryon LeBlanc comes in at the end of the game and made a couple plays from what I've seen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm barely wrong and I know what I've seen. It should be no reason that that happens. So that's a do. If they playing bad, do pull them, please. Now, um, Nathan Gary also too, but I ain't, ain't going to get in there. I, 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 said, I, I said what I said about Nathan Gary. All right. Find a way to get your DTs some pressure, some quarterback hits, some sacks. You have to find a way. This is another do. You have to find a way to get your DTs involved because we're sitting here, we're grinding Fletcher Cox and Hargrave up, but they're doing they're not put in a predicament to where as though that they can go eat. But that's Jim Swartz's job to scheme up a way. Some of the way is by getting your D, your D ends up the field. Brandon Graham had a horrible game. When you look at the game again and you break down tape, Brandon Graham was crashing on the run every single time. But they know that they can go, they, they know that they can bootleg to his side because that's what he is. He's not a guy that really gets at the quarterback, but he's a damn good run stopper. So they use his aggressiveness against him. And when they did that, it opened up the bootleg. And now it's not a D, it's not a D, a D and really chasing him because Brandon Graham already committed to the run. So you have to find a way, you have to teach your DTs, go get the quarterback. Go get the quarterback. But if not, and, and, and when you're doing that, you have to trust your uh your linebackers. It has to be some trust in your linebackers. And that's why I think Taylor and uh, Sean Bradley come in. I think them guys can make plays. If you put them in, you can send your DTs upfield if it's a bootleg. Just go chase the quarterback. Don't worry about the run game. We got this. We got this back here. But since they don't, and since we're we're so worried about having the D-line stop, uh, stop the run, that's when the linebackers, you know, are not as strong as they are. It's, it's not as strong as they should be. But I feel as though the rigors that we got, we can solve that problem. So find a way. This is a do. Find a way to get your DTs involved in the game. Point blank, period. Um, that's it for the dudes, man. So let's go to the don'ts. Let's go to the don'ts. What we got right here? We all should know this. Don't lose the game. I don't care what you do. Do not lose this game. I understand it's only week three. I do not say must win unless it's a really must win. But this is a game you got to have. If you lose this game, all, all air will be sucked out of the locker room. All air will be sucked out of the, the fan base. I'm still going to be here no matter what. I'm just telling you, you're going to lose about 60% of the fans if you lose this game. Don't lose this game. Do what you got to do to not lose this game, man. Seriously. Sir, I got faith that we're going to win this game. Don't don't get me wrong. But if there's any glitches and anything that looks crazy and they come out with this win, oh, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy. So don't let Burroughs get out of the pocket. Burroughs, uh, uh, Joe Burroughs, he's, he got speed. And he's an athletic guy. We've seen her run. Uh, last week for a 20, uh, 21 or 22 touchdown run. He can do that too. He can do that too. That's why I think that our rookies with this sideline to sideline speed 
our rookies need to be in in these plays. They need to be in this game. I mean, they should be ha they, they should be having. What is the point of drafting a third round guy if he's not going to get playing time? So you got your second round pick, you got your third round pick, your fourth round, uh, your, uh, two of your fourth round picks. Because, uh, well, Justin was a fourth round pick, but, you know, he got in. I mean, he got he got in, but then he got hurt. So your first, your, your, your like I said, your second, your third, and your two fourths are not even, they're not making an impact on the game. That should not happen. That should not happen. That has to change. That hasn't changed, man. So you got to get these linebackers in, man. You got to get these, these these rookie linebackers in, man. I think that they can really make a change. Um, don't let Burroughs get comfortable. It's another don't. Don't let him get comfortable. Don't let him see. Don't let him see the field. Throw different things at him, like I said before. Um, what you really want to do with a guy like this is take away his first read. Try to find out what his hot route is. And, you know, throw some different looks at them. Do not have your standard nickel package all the time. And guys is not disguising anything. Don't be regular, Jim. That's a don't. Don't be regular. Have a mixed up, um, have a mixed up defense. But one thing I can say about Jim Schwartz real fast is that Jim Schwartz is really not a guy that loses to rookie quarterbacks. I think since he's been here, he has not lost to a rookie quarterback. Keep that train rolling. You know what I mean? Another don't, and this is the last don't, y'all. If it don't work, don't continuously do it. If it don't work, and this goes to Jim and this goes to Doug. Doug, if it ain't working in the first quarter, it's not going to magically work in the third or the fourth. Switch it up. Do you know, do you know what the definition of insanity is? Insanity, the definition of insanity is keep doing the same things and expecting different results. You keep putting guys in predicaments to where as though, and I'm talking to Jim right now, you keep putting guys in predicaments to where as though they're not fast enough, they can't cover this kind of person, um, they're not they're not being utilized, and you just keep, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing I'm going to keep trying to put a, a square pin in a round hole. Stop it. If it doesn't work in the first quarter, it's not going to work in the second quarter, the third quarter, and damn sure not the fourth quarter. Don't fall in love with what your game plan was. Switch it up. That's it for the do's and don'ts. I will see y'all. I probably won't be able to get with y'all tomorrow, man. I got work. I got a lot of things I got to take care of. But, inshallah, I will be at the Battlebird uh, podcast Sunday, 11 o'clock, man. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all hit the like. Make sure y'all subscribe. And make sure y'all go try to get this free $15, man. You know what you got to do. It's at the beginning of the video if you forgot. All right, man. Until next time, probably until Sunday, man. Y'all know what it is. Go Eagles, man. But y'all already know what it is. Stay Philly, stay fresh.